the new version of Annex 2 according to Commission Regulation EU 2028-178 was published in the EU official journal, L203, on 26 June 2020. The regulation entered into force on 16 July 2020 and applies from 1 January 2021 on. The transition period ends on 31 December 2022. This means that the new regulations can be applied starting 1 January 2021 and must be implemented by 31 December 2022. Safety datasheets that do not yet comply with the requirements of this regulation may be provided until 31 December 2022. ChemGuess will automatically change your program version at the end of the transition period. So, if you want to wait until the last day, you don't need to worry about anything. Japan already has a similar regulation in effect. It was automatically activated at the beginning of this year. However, if you want to change over now, go to the maintenance of the countries and there to the common settings for several countries. Select European Union, change the order of the headings in the SDS to SDS 2021, confirm the entry and everything is changed over. ChemGuess will automatically convert all safety datasheets for the EU and add and fill in all necessary headings. You do not have to do anything. The conversion is fully automatic. If you are not interested in further information on this regulation, but just wanted to know how to activate it, you can stop this video now. Below you will find a summary of the most serious changes resulting from this new regulation. For more detailed information, please download the regulation directly from the EU's legal information system, the EURLEX. Regulation EU 2028-178 aligns the EU SDS with the recommendations of GHS revisions 6 and 7. There are major changes in sections 1, 3, 9 and 11. In section 1, the UFI code must be output for hazardous products. In section 3, specific concentration limits, ATE values and M factors must now be specified for all raw materials. Skin allergens and inhalation allergens which have a specific limit value shall be declared from one-tenth of their limit value. For non-hazardous preparations, ingredients must no longer be declared at 1% but in many cases at 0.1%, if they present more serious hazards or allergens. Allergens in category 1A must be declared at 0.01% and allergens with special limits at one-tenth of their limit. As a result, many safety datasheets of non-hazardous products will experience major changes. Substances with endocrine disrupting properties must be listed from 0.1% on. If a substance is used in the mixture in its nanoform and is registered as such or described in the downstream user's chemical safety report, the particle properties characterizing the nanoform according to Annex 6 shall be indicated in subsection 3.2. Sections 9 and 11 have been completely restructured. The order in which existing information is given has been completely changed and extended by the inclusion of additional physical chemical data in subsection 9.1. Subsection 9.2 has also been expanded to include information on physical hazard classes and an additional subsection for other safety characteristics. Section 11 has been expanded by a subsection containing information on other hazards. This primarily concerns endocrine disrupting properties, but also other health hazards not covered according to the classification criteria. Alongside the new Annex 2 underreach similarly comprehensive changes in other national regulations, have begun implementation. Japan, for example, which, as already mentioned, has already been automatically converted by ChemGuess. There are some other minor changes, all of which are covered in ChemGuess. If you are interested, please refer to the regulation. Although extensive changes have been made internally in ChemGuess, the effort for the users of the software has been reduced to a minimum. There are only a few points in the maintenance programs with modifications and enhancements. In the maintenance of countries, it is possible to determine separately for each country whether it will be issued according to the new regulations. The term SDS 2021 was chosen because several non-EU countries have or are planning similar regulations. There is normally no reason to do this unless you have self-created headings that have not been inserted correctly, but each user can still determine for themselves the sequence in which the headings should be shown. This is quite simple. Select an existing group or create a new group. If you do not specify an existing group when creating a new group, the order that was valid before the settings for the SDS 2021 is selected. In the group itself, you can assign the individual countries or select individual sections for the shift.
you cannot shift headings across sections. So please select the sections you want to change individually. In principle, all existing headings for the selected area are always displayed, even if they do not apply in the user's own country. If there is no translation for a heading, it is displayed in the original language. Now you can select individual fields or a group of fields. The order in the safety datasheet can be changed using the up arrow or down arrow buttons. Use the plus and minus keys to change the levels of the headings. Levels indicate whether headings are part of a superordinate heading. The arrows in gray show that the level was selected depending on the structure of the heading number. Blue arrows indicate manually changed levels. The structure of the SDS 2021 made it necessary to change the maintenance of headings for the safety datasheet. The heading text to be output can be different in the SDS 2021. Furthermore, you can determine whether the heading is to be output only in the SDS 2021 and on which level in relation to the other headings this heading is located. Please note the buttons with the question marks, which show additional explanations when clicked on. In the maintenance of phrases, it was also necessary to add an option with which to define whether a phrase is to be output only in the SDS 2021 or if it should never be shown in the SDS 2021. Data on the endocrine disrupting properties of raw materials are entered in the substance listings. Information on the nanoforms can be entered in the country-specific values. You can select a maximum of one value each from five columns of predefined texts. In the safety datasheet, the values entered are taken into account wherever required by this regulation. This example shows the information in section 3 for a preparation.